So look, we're going to run for about hour, hour and a half. All right. All y'all guys are college guys. It's up probably one. We'll compete, though. All right, the whole time compete, get each other prepared. I know this guy, he's going to college. He's going, he's going. So what, three guys out there? Yeah. So give them kind of a taste of what y'all want to do, what they do in college. All right, I know y'all supposed to talk, all that stuff. A mixture of guys from division one, two, and three. That's what I wanted, just like that. So I, I personally talked to y'all guys to bring y'all in here. All right, there's not just an average run where you're just gonna just do what you want to do. I just want to compete in the, the day. And I don't want a whole bunch of people in here because I want y'all to get a lot of reps. All right. Because y'all gotta y'all can't go back to school the same and gotta have a feel for the game as well. I know a lot of Division I guys go back soon, probably sometime in June. The D2, D3 guys, y'all gonna be here for until like August. All right, so we gotta keep preparing, keep getting better. All right, we're probably gonna play eight minutes. I'll probably put the clock up, play for eight minutes. Uh first team to twelve. All right, first team to twelve. Either the clock run out, or we're gonna play by one all, all ones. All right, all ones who locking up, pushing the ball, I know what to do from there. All right, y'all got it? All right, bet. Good time, man. Good time, man.
Sunday runs, right? Next 
Thank you. 
play hard you know, for an hour and a half. Y'all got after it. Um, I think we can build off some stuff. Y'all had the ball moving. Um, Defensive-wise, y'all guys put up the ball. Y'all moving the ball, talking. Y'all competed. That's the biggest thing. I say y'all can get better. Y'all understood mismatches. Somebody, somebody had a mismatch, y'all went to it, y'all played off that. You know I'm saying y'all guys crashed, y'all went to y'all strengths. I think the good thing about the younger guys, y'all realized that y'all had to play y'all role. We had guys' positions to put y'all in a great spot to make shots or play off the, play off the closeout, right? So y'all understanding y'all role, understanding the intensity, the speed of the game, playing the 12 points. We got there one time, got one time. I understand how hard you was playing for eight minutes straight. You know what I'm saying? I say overall, great job, man. All right? That bear gave everybody some love, man. Hey, let me see. Let me say one thing. Up, something, let me bro. Say one thing. Hey, man. Hey, great work today, fellas. Uh, me being a pro, if I can talk to y'all about one thing, is just staying gritty, all right? Once you get older and you start playing at the next level, it's guys that's going to be able to be at your skill set or higher. But what separates the difference between the two is being gritty, doing the little things to get on the floor, diving for loose balls, box out, being in the right spots. All right. If you want to get on that floor and you want to extend your rope, if you're not, or if it's not already extended by the time you get to where you need to go, those are the things you need to do to go ahead and show the coaches the trust in you to get to the next level. And now you can play the way you want to play. All right, it's not all about scoring the ball, you feel me? Like, I, I did it at the, the D1 level. I got all the accolades, you feel me? And I didn't average more than 12. All right, I was a 1,200-point score, 1,000-point score, all-time me. I, I'm, I'm in the record books. I got ring, you know what I mean, a ring. Like, but I'm getting next-level looks. It's not because of my skill set as far as me hooping. I mean, yes, it's that too, but I do little things. All right, the way I play it out here is totally different how I really play. All right, so if I can give you all anything, it's just stay gritty. Excuse me, stay gritty. Stay gritty, always want it, always think you're the underdog, and always put yourself in a situation when you're doing drills and shit. I was just telling, um, I forgot who I was just talking to about it. I think it was him right here. We was talking about ball handling, yeah. right? And I was telling him, like, visualize that you're going against guys that will make you lock in. LeBron James, Pat Bev, when you ball handling the rock. Why? Because Pat Bev locked down, you're going to try to reach for that bitch. In order for you to do what you got to do, you got to lock in, all right? Visualize that ball is your mother. Right? You're not going to let nothing happen to your mother. Right? So take care of your mother. It's little things like that that will keep you locked in and focused. All right? So you'll be able to enhance and improve your games, fella. But great job, man. Like y'all games, man. Keep working. Yep. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah. Good work. Good work. Good work. Good work. Oh, yeah.